receive the word, yes. they will change. Amen. If they don't, there's nothing you can do or say Amen. that will change them. Amen. So God has given them the opportunity to change or stay the way they are. But he's letting them know the consequence if they don't change. Amen. I don't think nobody in the house want to go to the lake of fire. Because see, in the end, heaven and death will be cast into the lake of fire. Amen. So to be evil in this life, you are already in hell. We are quiet. <laughs> let your light shine. Amen. So you see, when you let your light shine, you better check it out. That's why Paul said, work out your own salvation in fear and truth. Work it out. Work it out. Not right now. When you leave this place, when you're tempted by the things in the world that will cause you to turn away from God. And to do that, is an abomination yeah. in God's sight. Yes. So Jeremiah said, If thou will return, O Israel, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah is speaking, but the Lord is saying. So God dwells in Jeremiah. Amen. How much more? <clears throat> return unto me. Now, I need help to return to God because the evil that's over me is greater than I am. So that's why I, I have to cry out to God and say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. And when we cry just that short prayer, God will help you. Because it is his desire to separate us from evil. And he's going to do it by his word. And God's word is true. Amen. It is word that sanctifies us. See, when we say God's word sanctifies us, it separates us from the evil that's in us. Amen. Now, all I need is God's power to overcome Amen. And then I can return to the choir. I can return to the various ministry. You got the drift? Amen. Let me hear you. If thou will return to it, said the Lord, return unto me. It's your choice. God's judgment is for you to return to Him. Amen. And if you don't receive His judgment, then you're going to do your own thing. Whatever you find yourself loving more than God, it becomes your God. Did you know your husband can be your God? Amen. Did you know your wife can be your God? Did you know your children can be your God? I thank God He has instruction for the wife, the husband, and the children. And it's the husband and wife responsibility to teach the children. Amen. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. So stop pouting after mama and daddy. Pouting after Jesus. Because God said, follow him and hear him. Follow his footsteps. Amen. And your light will shine. Because Jesus' light shine. Not just for one, but for the whole world. And the whole world is glorifying him. Because 
of the light that they can see. How mercy. Have mercy. <clears throat> when we turn to God and cry out to help, then God says to us, if you put away thine abomination yeah. out of my sight, God cannot stay seen in his sight. Especially if he dwells in you. Mm. So thank God that he helps me to get rid of my lying. Yes. Get rid of my burdens. Yes. Get rid of my distress. Get rid of my way so I can return to the choir yeah, thank you, Lord. and to each ministry. Thank you. That's what Thank you, Lord. How much, Lord? Thank you. It's not where you want to minister to people. It's where God wants you to minister. Amen. And God prepares you to minister in that area. And in that area, you will have persecution. Amen. You will be talked about. Amen. You will be not told. Why? For you to prove yourself that God dwells in you. Amen. Amen. And if you accept his direction, he'll fight your battle. Moving is not the answer. It's being obedient to God's will. Those of us who in Sunday school, we had a good lesson on that this morning. And Dean Johnson did an excellent job. Those of you who didn't come, you missed it. I encourage those of you who are sitting here that are not coming to some school, come to some school. As Brother Watson said, he didn't come because he wants to have a feeling, but because he wants to believe in the word. Well, how you will believe when you don't hear it? Amen. 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 If you are listening to the Holy Ghost, you will be in Sunday school. Because he's definitely teaching you. It's serious, people. It's very serious. You know what's sad in my heart? A lot of us not going to make it to heaven. <coughs> Jeremiah is a weeping prophet. Mm. Yes. Crying for Israel. Knowing the situation Israel is in. Mm. And the only way out is to return to God. Amen. 